Hey guys, it's Joy here and today I'm going to be doing a video for all of you guys who are considering going to college out of state in the future. So there are a few pros and cons that I'd like to talk about because I have moved from the east coast to the west coast, from Georgia to California to go to college, and there have been some great things and some not so great things that I'd like to share with you. Well, first we're going to start out with the pros so we can start off on a positive note. And a few of the pros are, one, you get to experience a new city. So I live in Atlanta, but now I'm in LA. So LA is very different from other cities on the East Coast. And another pro about LA is that there are different activities that I just can't do at home. For example, going to the beach. I never grew up where I could just Uber over to the beach or drive over to the beach and spend the day there with my friends or whatever. Whenever I went to the beach it was really a family vacation for a short time and then we would go back home to the cold. And that leads me to the next pro is that if you go to college out of state you might be able to experience a new environment where the weather is better than yours or even worse. But uh, in California it doesn't really rain and in Georgia it rains so much so I love that I can just walk outside and expect it not to be rainy and it's really sunny most of the time. It's been cloudy the past few days but really it's been a lot better than anything I would experience on the East Coast. Now we're going to talk about some of the cons about going to college out of state. So obviously homesickness is something that anyone ex would experience when going to college but when you're um, thousands of miles away from home it can be a little bit more extreme so being in LA I'm in a different time zone so I'm always calculating in my head what the time difference is back home um, people are always sleep before me so I'll be ready to have a conversation with a friend or family member and then I have to take in into consideration that they're already in bed and then another thing that goes along with homesickness is that you're going to want to visit home and sometimes that's not as easy when you're very far away from home so you have to take into account flights or if your parents have to come and pick you up and drive you back home which could take a very long time and that comes along with money and things like that so that's another thing you want to consider when you're making the choice to go out of state for college the last con I would like to say is that friends and family are people that you want to spend time with so back home I know friends that go to college close um, like very near to each other they can visit each other's colleges they can go to parties with each other um, my friends can go visit home whenever they want pick something up if they forgot something to bring to college and that's not something that I can do so I can either get someone to ship something to me if I forgot it or I have to wait until I go back home to get the things that I need so those are basically the main ideas when it comes to pros and cons to moving out of state for college Obviously, if you're moving to a neighboring state, it's not going to be as drastic as the things I've described, but this is just to give you an idea of what I've been experiencing moving from the East Coast to the West Coast. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you have any questions about moving, um, leave those in the description box below, and make sure you subscribe to the channel and give this a thumbs up. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.